honor and glory unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakhadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Citations unto the elect and feed the sheep of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and the and the truth. And we back at you, brothers, with another lesson, hoping to edify the elect. Because that's, that's the only purpose the Lord sent us out here, man. 144,000 has to be sealed. Matter of fact, let's kick it off with that. Revelations um, 7. 7. You got it, my brother. Revelation 7. And um, the brothers just came from Europe. And he let you know, man, it's a whole different spirit over there, bro. It's a whole different spirit. You here in America where people are rude, where people are disrespectful, where people are full of hate and aggression. Like you said, he just came from Europe. They had order all the way to the way the airport was operated, right? You come to America, motherfucker will step in your shoes, push you out the way. That's why America got to be destroyed, man. But before it get destroyed, one folk, folk, thousand got to be seen. Go ahead, brother. Let's start verse one. We'll kick it off in verse one, brother. This Revelation chapter 17 and verse one, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Seven, seven, you said 17, slide. seven. Yeah, this, uh, uh, like this Revelation 7 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. It says, uh, verse and, and, the, and the winds represent destruction. Destruction. Thermonuclear destruction. How is, um, this world that we know is as America and Babylon, the great this society, gonna go down? By fire! If I can add on to you, Not add on this, uh, this Edomite in my job, whatever, you know, you know, you got to put on your Clark Kent or whatever, but he was talking about this whole war thing and well, World War III and these, nu and these nuclear bombs. He was saying, like, man, this is, uh, one, if one go off, that's the end of humanity, essentially, right? Because they just went to shoot them, right? All over the you got to ask yourself, why would mankind, let's be real, why would Edom, Esau, Edom, the Edomite make these? Well, you got to go into the scriptures. The Lord said, I created the waste to destroy it. The Lord put the spirit on all these different Edomites and all those uh, people that came up with these atomic and nuclear bombs to fulfill his will. That's Other than that, it makes no sense. Why would you build something that could kill, kill everybody on a planet? And, and those ICBMs are prophesied in the Holy Scriptures that hit Babylon the Great and other places around this world, around this world to fulfill the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. See? They're going to serve their purpose. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, beloved. It says, verse 2, and I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea to hurt the earth and the sea mm -hmm. go ahead verse 3 saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees to be have sealed the servants of our power and their foreheads yeah that's why the so-called white man is still in power that's why esau edom is still in authority and still in rulership there's there's things in the bible that must be fulfilled man mm -hmm. there's prophecies that must come to pass man one of them is what? The MOTB. Another one is World War III. Another one is famine, right? There's so many scriptures that gotta come to pass before this devil ta gets taken down. And a lot of you fall out the truth because I can't take it no more. What's taking the Lord so long? God damn, where he go? Where the Lord at? Yeah, the Lord do what he wanna do. He come when he ready, man, keep reading. This uh, Revelation 7 and verse four, and I heard the number of them which were sealed and there was sealed 144,000. What's that number? 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Go ahead. Verse 5, of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali, there were sealed 12,000. Hey, when you go into that, that's you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And that speckled bird that been scattered across the world, man, amongst these other nations looking like these other nations. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason the Lord hasn't unleashed on the so-called white man yet. He got to seal his number. Mm -hmm. There's a number in the Bible that got to be sealed before this devil goes down. Go ahead, brother. It says, of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. And these people are scattered, not just in America. This ain't just in America, Central America. Overseas, in the Caribbean in the Cayman Islands, in the Philippine Islands, everywhere. And, <laughs> and what, are they, uh, what are these 12,000 uh, chosen out of these tribes doing? And they're singing that new song. They're prophesying the downfall of uh, America, which is known in the scriptures, Babylon the Great, 
and ushering in the coming of our Lord, Isaiah 61st chapter. That's right. See? You got some singing it, and you got the other ones dancing to it. Uh, what, uh, China? Oh, oh they're in China singing about Yahweh. Yeah, they ain't Israel. singing about God and Jesus. They said Yahweh. Yep, if I'm mistaken, earlier this year, Ishmael, uh, Israelites came out and did the same thing, man. They had a video singing the same thing, man. Uh -huh. Calling yeah. the name, praising on the name. Call it was somebody name. in the Filipinos. He was See, actually yeah, well, teaching, yeah. hey, Yahweh shot, man. Well, See? once, uh, like I've been telling the brother, man, Philippines, they... A lot of them spots, like where war and America got Navy bases at, and Army bases, period, garrisons at, you can you can best believe Jake them went through the jungles and then taps them the women, man. So, see, they fall apart from the tree up level, you know? Yeah, Jake everywhere. Oh, yeah. This uh, Revelation 7 and 4 of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Zebulon was sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Benjamin was sell 12,000. Keep going. The story continues. It starts, mm -hmm. wait, go ahead. Say what you got to say, Hey, bro. in the book of Obadiah, it says, Savior shall come upon uh, uh, the Mount of uh, Zion, the on Mount, or Mount Zion, to judge the Mount of Esau. Mm -hmm. And hey, who are those saviors that is referring to? It's uh, speaking of the Lord's elect, his chosen 144,000 men, the true leaders of his, of his nation. nation. See? It says, uh, verse 8, verse 9. It says, after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations. Hey, the Christian church try to use this to graft their way into the promise. Right? Matter of fact, give me the book of um, Isaiah 11 and 11. Because yep. they try to use this verse right here to bring themselves in. We're talking about the Gentiles could be saved. The heathens could be saved. The other nations could be saved. Read it again, beloved. This uh, Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Let's find out who these people are. Read what you got. Isaiah 11, 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again a second time to cover the remnant of his people which shall be left from, Ash from, Ash from Ashra and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Pamah and from the islands of the sea. Mm -hmm. And he shall set up an insignia for the nations and sign. It's like, it's like he sign for the nations. And shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. And shall assemble who? The outcasts of Israel. Mm -hmm. And gather together the dispersed of Judah from yep. the four corners of the earth. Yeah, that's who that that's who that's talking about in the book of um, Revelation 7, man. I got, I got a quick Go ahead, precept. brother. This uh second, so like this Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse uh mm -hmm. I start at verse 2, it says, matter of fact, I start at verse 1, it says, and it can and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether Yahweh thy power hath driven thee, and shall return unto Yahweh thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So hey, in the latter days, the children of Israel, they will wake up to who they are. Hey, as it says in the book of uh, Hosea, they shall seek their king. They're going to return back to their heritage, right? Verse 3, it says, That then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whether Yahweh thy power have scattered thee if any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahweh thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. So in, Reve in Revelation the ninth chapter, what we read, now Revelation 7 and 9, and hey, you have Israelites spread amongst all nations of people. And hey, the elect among those, the Lord is going to come and uh, deliver them, man. That ain't talking about all these other nations. No? It is not talking about the other nations. He just read... Can you read that again, beloved? This uh, made the verse three and four. It says, verse three, that then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whether Yahweh thy power have scattered thee. If any of thine... It says, verse four, if any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahweh thy power gather thee and from thence will he fetch thee. Come on. Also in the Apocrypha it says, in the land of thy captivity, thou shalt remember thyself, right? And you're going to call in your power, which is your house. That's what's happening right now, man. Um, them Moabites, them so-called Moabite-looking 
people you seen seen singing about Yahweh, that was Israelites in the land of their captivity. You remember years ago, oh well not too far ago, about two years ago, we had a so so called Moabites come by through here. I think uh, he was one of the Uyghurs, I think, from my mistake. Because remember he didn't walk past us, the spirit pulled him back towards us, and what was he dealing with? He dealt with us for like a solid a few months, a few months, because the seasons were changing, man. Yeah. Remember a few times we got here, it'd be raining, and he'd be, the elements would be changing, he'd be out here just reading along right along with us, man. And what did he say? He said back home, mm -hmm. they treat my us different yep. from the other Chinese. Because mm -hmm. they knew he was a different type of Asian, mm -hmm. I would say. <laughs> so they um, come to find out, they do experiments. Uh, China has a real big human, um, human organs, uh, human, human trafficking, a, far, a body part market going over in China. They say you go to China, you pull up, you need a kidney, they'll give you a kidney within like a, a week, or less than a week. Nowhere else in the world does that happen other than China. And they say cats from all, people from all over the world pull up into China and get different body parts, man. But yeah, they say you have with a small special. ass kidney. Man, and, but the guys, the, the people who they get it from, is uh, from, from a lot of those uh, soldiers and stuff. You know, it's also a track record doing that. He did that during, um, what was that, War of the 90s? We, we left about the Sur Sarajevo War. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, what was that? Uh, in the 90s, that war? This, uh, Desert Storm? No, not that one. I'm talking about the over in, um, Kosovo. in Kosovo War. Oh, yeah, Kosovo. They were doing um, human or, uh, harvesting of the, of the organs over there. They, 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 there were a lot of stories of the soldiers getting yeah. captured, and they, they, they would hear screams from the other cells. They'd be like, man, what the hell going on in there? Man, my man come back with a kidney missing, man. Keeping him alive, man. That close over war is yeah. going down. Right, One thing we notice when you Europeans go to war, you don't have no mercy on each other. We thought you didn't have no mercy on us. Even in the Bible it says if, if he's not good to himself, who are you going to be good to? World War I, World War II. What, what he said in the movie World War I? He said, Lord, forgive me for oh, yeah. They, on, they killed so many different Edomites in World War I. The dude, man, he asked, Lord, for forgiveness. What did he say, seven million? We just sent up the they killed like um seven million in like a fucking a few months. Mm -hmm. They set off the war, man. Mm -hmm. Sit up. But you already know we're together. I can remember. Um, this Matthew chapter 24 and verse uh, 27 for us the light cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. And that's going into the deliverance of the nation of Israel, man. Those eagles, those uh, eagles represent the chariots, man. So wherever our people are, that they're, they're uh, meant to be delivered, those uh, eight, those eagles, those chariots are going to be there to deliver us, man. This is the coming salvation that the prophets were risen up to speak about, man. What they say, as birds flying, so shall he defend Jerusalem. Yep. Yeah, we already know, man. The Lord is going to deliver us through chariots. And it don't matter if you don't believe in unidentified flying objects. They've been identified. Okay. They've been identified. Your so-called um, scientists and your so-called astronomers and the people watching all this stuff, they know that these things exist. Yep. That's why they've been keeping it a secret, because they know these things are what? The chariots of the Heavenly Father. Hey, um, until the last two years, man. Hey, they, they publicly came out and tell you that we see flying things in the sky that we can't identify. Mm -hmm. But no, but then they're double back. Uh, like a year ago, they they dropped, they came out with a report. It was 144 different sightings in the sky, but they weren't they weren't uh, what they call uh, aliens, though. Well, you just said the key number 144,000 sightings. <laughs> and what did I tell you one time, man? I seen like 30 in one night. You remember? I was like, brothers, I know y'all don't think I'm tripping, man. I went in one spot. I seen about 30 chairs. I started counting. I'm like, these ain't no flying stars. Right, right, right. And the next thing we had to um, that that. When we all linked up together, the chariots came. Oh yeah, kind of, kind of. that was the spiritual. That was around that time when they seen all yeah. the chariots. Yeah. Hey, they seen more and more. What's that, Zachariah? Like that, Zachariah? I got yeah, whatever something. you got, brother. Bring it in. Yeah. We on all topics yeah. today, baby. I got it. This uh, Sirach chapter thirty-six. This Sirach chapter 36 and verse, uh, I thought verse 6, it says, Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm that thou may set forth thy wondrous works. You said some beautiful signs because we're looking for signs. The Lord told us to look for signs. Chariots are part of the signs. Something that was a made up thing at one time. Oh, UFOs, aliens. Exactly. Now they're telling you, we know according to the Bible, and that's the angels. And, and what, what were the images they were all giving you? A big head ass fucking angel.
But they said the big head represents the afro. Huh. So your little tricks have been turned up and being Against you. Huh. 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 And we use these scriptures to bring it out. Huh. Against you again. Mm -hmm. Just like you got the Russian hats, that represents the black man's hair. Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the people in the UK. Exactly. So yeah. Oh, you know, you're talking about, uh, talking about the, uh, the Russian soldiers from the They got the big... Um, the Pope had... They said that was, was a hairstyle that you used to rock. I'm like, boy, that was bugged out, boy. <laughs> they got you with that shit. That was the first kid in play. Well, look at look, 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 the cars. They had a style, too. They wear the hats, too. Okay, yeah. Trying to uh, represent our, our afros and stuff, man. The long sideburns. Mm -hmm. I got something for you. Second Ezra, 9 and 1. And he said, if he answered me and then, and said, measure down the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which is made. And as the brother just said, hey, the Lord got all types of signs around the earth. Not only just the chariots, all right? The main sign is us getting back together. The Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom. That's the main sign, mm -hmm. all right? Us waking up out of this slumber as spoken of in, uh, what's that, Ezekiel with the dry bones? That's a huge sign. Not to mention that every evil, wicked person that comes on the uh, uh, TV is telling you to get ready for famine, get ready for an economic collapse, get ready for a supply shortage, all right? All these are signs that the Lord told you was going to happen in the latter days. Well, they got something? Your president is something. telling you. Right, right. I got something back here. He's talking about the NWO. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting more and more bold with it. Ain't and so these was conspiracy theories. We would call it that years ago, right. you know? Where are the name called now, some. man? I got some. Go it's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49. Book of Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord your house of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is the is they wisdom vanished? So man, you know, he saw Edom just come out the sand, man. You know, there's no more hiding for them. They just come out the sand, hey, this, you know, this is that, you know. We setting up by NWO, man. You know, we coming out with this, we coming out with that, man. You know, and we are that sign of the end, you know. We stay on the streets around the four corners of the earth, man. It tells you in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world and a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. That's right. And we are that sign, you know. And it also tells you in the Baruch, lo, thy sons come, you know, from the four corners of the earth, you know, due to this word. Worth the paraphrase. So, hey, man, you know, you got no excuse. No excuse. Can I, um, bring no this excuse. Class? This All is 2nd uh, Andrews 6, and I'm starting 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the party of center of the time? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followed? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Mm -hmm. For Esau is the, is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, man. So these signs and the calling is happening right now, man. When you see the brothers coming together, man, this this is a, a, a calling, man, right now, man. Also, you see the demise of this wicked place coming down, man. My brothers, you know? perfect, perfect. Through these words, man, through these scriptures, man. He said, uh, second entrance of uh, six and nine, man. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of the follow, man. So we're looking for better times to come, man. And we know that this is it, man. The signs are being shown, man. Like the chariots. Us coming together, like coming together. That's uh, a sign, bro. On the highways and byways. That's a sign, bro. Sign, sign. Man, you couldn't get um, five black men in the room together to agree with nothing. That's a game, man. On and chief, on chief. That's right. Now, how long is that gonna last? Man? See, that, yeah. Chief's alive, though. For thirty years, you can't leave chief alone, man. Chief, <laughs> chief don't need no more y'all bad luck purses on him, man. <laughs> hey, they be like, oh, chief head, man. Chief don't need no more. Oh, he's gonna put so many curses on Chief. Man. Oh, you guys ain't never let Chief out. Look at what my man can't even get out of jail. They call him Jeremy. He can't even get out of jail. He can't get out of jail. They keep throwing hell. Look the curses these niggas putting on him, man. They keep landing him, man. They keep getting him. I put it on Chief. He's making a like a motherfucker on Chief. They use it out against him like a motherfucker in court. Man, Chief can't get out because of y'all niggas, man. Y'all grinding. They never get out. Shut up. 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 Shut up.
nigga was gonna die in jail, nigga. <laughs> and even the Bible said he opened up the house of the prisoners. A lot of you niggas ain't coming out of prison, nigga. Hey. <laughs> And this uh, second entry is nine in verse. This second entry is nine in verse five. It says, "For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest." So everything that's made in this world, you know, you use it for what you use it for, and then it comes to an end, right? right. Verse uh, six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And the end of the world is manifesting itself in mm. front of you people, man. Mm. Look at everything that's going on. The brothers just mentioned all the things that are taking place and that, that, your, that your government is coming out and telling you what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. The Holy Scripture has been telling you what's going to happen. Hey, the Spirit of the Lord has been telling you these things are going to happen, man. Right. So that's how we know we're at the end. And in the book of 1 Peter, it says, Behold, the end of all things is at hand. Mm. People think it's going to continue and go on and you know live this little jolly go life or whatever. No, man. Hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy America, man. That's right. Hey, destroy this beast system, man. And hey, set up his righteous kingdom that we've read about, that we read about, you know? Hey, you know, yeah, man. Hey, look at these people, man. Like my brother was saying, they, they want to continue to live a hunky dory life, man. They don't want to hear these, these uh, words. It's cutting them. It's hurting them, man. They love to hear that sweet, that, that sweet thing, man. That they get from Reverend Pete from that church on Sunday, man. That's what they like to hear, man. So you, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they probably will be uh, today. Is, uh, April, so they probably just graduated. That's why you see a lot of people around right now, man. Right? So they think they're going to graduate and go to get these jobs that America promised them and all that. Well, what, what's really going to happen to them, man? What's really promised to them, man? Death and destruction, man, if they don't get this word, man. I'm speaking to our people, man. And now is the time to come out of that, that, that uh, slumber, this, this facade, this fake happiness these people are under, man. Everybody's under pills, popping pills, or some type of drugs, man. This yeah, place is, look at this place, it's done, it's through. Huh? Ain't no fun out here, man. These people be tricking themselves with things that they have. They have fun of wicked. They have fun of yeah. wicked. Yeah. wicked. wicked. That's wicked. That's it. Huh. They, 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 they don't know what life is, man. And according to Esau, this is life to them. Going to work every day, slaving for the, the, the so-called slave master. You know what I'm saying? Then you, you get a, 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 what you call it, retirement. But you ain't got nothing to throw back in for your kids. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 for, you know what I'm saying? For anybody, it's like, it's just about you. And you've been doing the same hamster lifestyle for 60, 80 years. Now you get up in age, you can't even enjoy your body, man. Come on. You retire at what? 60 something? Uh -huh. and, and, and look. Then you die a year later. Because now you ain't doing nothing. You ain't moving every day. You ain't exercising. You in the bum of the woods. And now you die. And this is how Esau set it up. And you think this is how the world's supposed to be, bro. And that's not how the world's supposed to go. Lord got some way better for us, man. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 14. No, uh, I'll start at verse. Just hit the point where the brother was just going in on. Isaiah 14. And verse, uh, I start at verse 5, it says, Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the skeptics of the ruler. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They shall break forth to sing it. And that's what the world is going to do after the king of Babylon falls. Who's the king of Babylon? Esau, Eden, the self-proclaimed white man. This man is ruling people and, and, and ruling the people in such a wicked way. He's oppressing everyone, especially you Israelites, man. He got your mind tricked it, that you got to uh, wake up at 6 in the morning, for shit, eat, go work, you know, uh, and make one of these uh, companies rich. Then you come home tired, you know, don't want to do nothing, and you got to relive this whole life lifestyle continuously, continuously, man. That's not the way the Heavenly Father uh, created uh, this earth to be. You see, he said he made this place uh, I done, you know, a uh, place of pleasure. But, hey, this place is a living hell, man. Everyone's depressed. Everyone's uh, addicted to drugs, hey, alcoholism. Why? Because the people are mourning. Why? Because it's an unrighteous man ruling. Yeah, it's messed up that uh, like this year you're gonna see a lot of homeless. A lot of people that's gonna a lot of people that's on Section 8, they did these so-called PPP loans. Hey. <laughs> Look. 
uh, a lot of these people that on Section 8, they done a lot of these PPP loans, and the, uh, the so-called Section 8 found out about it. They sending them letters, man, they kicking them off the system. So you're going to have a hot, lot of homeless people, man, come this summer, man. And a lot of homeless people, like, it's, they doing it right now. They sending so many letters out. Then they, like, I, this, I, I work for, like, I'm a private contractor, but I work for, like, the CHA and tenants like that. And I've been going to so many houses, that's all I've been hearing. They sent me a letter talking about I, I had a PPP loan and all that stuff sent to my house and all that. Look, they ain't playing no more. Esau ain't playing, man. Esau coming down with a hammer. Hard. You hear me? No mercy. He cutting food stamps. He's cutting, uh, 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 like I said, um, public housing. He, hey, look, the man is screwing up so much. He, it, it, like, you trying to move. Right, you trying to move, but he a, like, like you trying to move out of house, right? You got a, 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 a like a grant or something like that, and it's like for 16, 18, maybe 2,000, something like that, and you trying to get an apartment. So if you get it appraised and approved and stuff, they tell you they approve you for, let's say, $2,000, right? Then he come back again and say, oh, no, we ain't going to do it for 2000 We only going to uh, give you 1400 So now, your landlord, Oh, I, I, I can't take that. I can't say I, I want, I want twenty two hundred. So now you screwed out the crib. Now if you don't get an apartment, you lose your section eight. This devil boy, hey, he's a real devil, man. This man don't give a shit. He don't care. And everybody about, about to see, especially you so-called women, man. You women, y'all about to go through. Lord ain't forgot about you, man. The devil didn't use you, and Lord ain't forgot about you. Hey, you about hey say. Woe to the woman that, that, that is at ease, man. A lot of you women is at ease right now. Because uh, Esau doing what? He giving you housing. He giving you food stamps. He giving you everything that you need to leave this so-called Negro alone. They say, hey, don't you leave him alone. We got you. And that's what y'all done. Y'all left y'all so-called black men. And, and now you uh, you clinging on to the, uh, Esau, man. Esau eating. You got something to I had this though. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. And look who's in charge, man. It has been charged for over 500 years. Esau Edom, the wicked, that the scripture speaks of. You know, it's the same guy that's trying to raise your rent nowadays due to inflation. Hell, man, the rent is going up, man. You know, you got, you got a lot of homeless people out here, and you will have a lot more homeless people out here. Like the brothers were just explaining, you know, all them people who took the PP loans, you know, that's about to be homeless, man. Because due to due to the CHA find out, due to you having PP loans, man, they're gonna kick your ass out the crib, man. Your ass gonna be living <laughs> living on North Wack Drive, man, south of fucking tents and shit. Man, man. But not only that, man, I hear in different other places, man, that man, if you don't have, you know, the solution to the big bad propaganda that's going on, they gonna raise your rent. Like, come on, man. Y'all get anything? Yeah, I started this. I started verse one. This Isaiah chapter 14 and verse one, it says, for Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So at the end of the day, the Lord is gonna choose his people, man. He's he not coming back to save all nations of people. That's a lie that these churches have told you people, man. And it clearly says, he said, the Lord will come back to who? For, uh, it says, will yet choose Israel. Let yet choose Israel. Every time you look in these scriptures in this Bible, the Lord is always talking about Israel, his chosen, Israel. I brought, I, I, I set you in captivity, I brought you out of captivity. I set you in captivity, I brought you out of captivity. Only Israel has he ever done this to, man, with. That's it. Lord ain't dealing with no other nations. Well, it says, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Talking about the Israelite foreigners. Yep. You see? Hey, I'm going to go ahead and hit verse uh, 3. It's like it, verse 2. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, they shall rule over their oppressors. And that's the future uh, of, of, of everything, man. 
People think America finna just continue to go on. It says that uh, they think the house shall continue forever. Yep. We just supposed to be the bottom people. Right. Just, forever. just a, the, the servants. most powerful people on the planet. We supposed to just stay at the bottom forever. And then when, hey, hey, when you feel like, hey, yeah, here you can have a piece of this, but you still rule it over. Us. You're not supposed to be ruling over us, man. We don't want your, uh, 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 what, what you call it, uh, uh, reaper, uh, uh, reparations. Reparations, yeah, reparations, man. Reparations is your ass being handed over to us, man. We ruling over you. Not you giving to us, but we giving unto you what we want to give you. It says, and they shall take them captains whose captains they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And the nation of Israel is going to enslave the rest of you other nations, man. And that's a Revelation 13 and 10. That's the will of the Lord. We saw one of these reparations at the end while the dollars falling apart. It's like, ain't nothing worth it. Nothing nothing worth nothing. The land destroyed. No, no, let's be honest. He can't even give you enough of uh, what he owes you. You know what I'm saying? After all the blood shit, he done did the guy. Man, he done stole this car to us, man. You know, to so called Negroes, man. You know? He don't have enough to pay us, man. Yeah, no. And at the end of the day, the only way he can play us. Like the said, with blood, man. Kind, with blood, that's the only way. Hey, that's the only thing we want. We want revenge. We want your blood, man. We want you, bro. That's it. That's reparations. That's us getting back uh, uh, what we, what we, what we, um, what we, what was stolen from us, man. You, your blood. I got it. Got that. This the Book of Numbers. Yeah, bring it up. This the Book of Numbers, chapter thirty-three. This the Book of Numbers, chapter thirty-five, verse thirty-three. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood it defiles the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Mm -hmm. But by the what? But by the blood of him that shed but it. But by the what? But by the blood of him that shed it. Yeah, that's the only way this place is going to be cleansed, man. Not, and not this place, man. All, and, and, all no place. blood, man. That's all we want. That's all the Lord wants. That's, uh, that's what's called for, man. None of your fake dollars with your face on it. None of your fake nothing. None, we don't want nothing that you got to offer. But you just bring yourself, bow down, and man, give it up. That's all we want. And, and we ain't got to talk about nothing else. This, uh, I got a quick one. This, uh, this Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 8, it says, For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you, for he that touched you touched the apple of his eye. And all these nations have touched the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So what is the Lord going to do when he comes back? And see his sons and his daughters hey, 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 at the bottom, man. It says, verse uh, 9, For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants, and ye shall know that Yahweh of hosts have sent me. So as it's written in Amos, the, uh, the plowman is going to overtake the reaper, man. And hey, 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 the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, which are the slaves in this society, we're going to become the ruling people, as we were meant to be. Right. Hey, we're going to get the blessings of Deuteronomy 28, the uh, 1 through uh, like 14. And we're gonna rule the nations, man. But first, they gotta get their judgment, man. We're the apples of the Lord eye, but you, you, hey, you, you destroyed us. You destroyed our communities. Hey, you destroyed our people. Hey, you, you're uh, destroying our community to this day with the music that you're pushing out. You dropping guns in the hood, you know. Hey, you selling our people uh, liquor 24/7, 24, 24 hey. every hour of the day. Yes, sir. You know. Hey, you are, hey, you are giving our people the. Uh, the products to destroy themselves, man. You think the Lord don't feel some type of way about this? Oh, yeah. You think he's not gonna come back and avenge and, and do something about it, man? Remember, no? that, and look, remember, y'all not just offended us, the Lord's little ones. Remember, y'all offended, offended and, and killed y'all by Shimmy Yahweh shot. So you don't think he wanna come back and get revenge? Come on, man, he can't wait to come, get, to come back and get revenge on you people, man. You the same people that put him to death back, back in those times, man. And now you finna persecute the elect, try to persecute and kill the elect again today. Man, the Lord can't wait. I mean, Yahweh Shemeshah can't wait, man. He can't wait, man. Like literally, like, I pro I, look, I promise you, like a kid. You know what I'm saying? You want, want something, something real bad? You, daddy, 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 daddy can I, man, daddy, daddy, when I'm, daddy, ooh, ooh, did, did you see what he did? Like, man, hey, look, he really like that up there. He, he can't wait. He hey, anxious. They say that the day of vengeance burning, burning my heart. Yeah. I believe that's in the book of Isaiah, baby. Yeah, I was shy. He's waiting to, to get the go. Why to come back save his men that been crying out to him, and they destroyed those that's uh, that's oppressing the people. Hey, 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 as it says in Isaiah as well, repay uh, recompense to the uh, enemy. Matter of fact, hey, who type it in?
You got something else? I got one right quick. This is Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all day that devoured thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So, hey, like we said, we don't want your money, man. Hey, you, you can't pay us back. Okay, you can only they go into slavery, and this goes for all the heat. Hey, what they do benefit off uh, the slavery of us, man? Benefit off the uh, um, the downfall of our nation? Hey, this is the Lord's apple of his eyes. You better have read. Okay, hey, the Lord said it's a righteous thing to recognize tribulation to them that trouble you. The Lord only cares about us. He don't care about these heathen. So how much more is he going to uh, deal with them? The Lord is going to come back and he's going to have that vengeance upon them. I got a quick one. This Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 17. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. Verse 18, according to their deeds, accordingly, he will repay. Fear to his adversaries, everyone that's opposing him. Recompense to his enemies. Psalms, the 83rd chapter, tells you who the enemies of the nation of Israel are. And to the heavenly father, it says to the islands, he will repay recompense. So that's why Yahweh Shai is coming back. He said, think not that I'm coming to send peace, but they are sword. Right. You know? Well, he ain't coming ain't, back to dice no food. No, nah, he's coming all, back to bring judgment. Uh, you know? Lord is not all love, man. Like you Christians want to always preach to the people, man. God is all love. God is all a God that's all love, that's a weak ass God. I would never want to serve a God that's all love all the time. There's no judgment. He ain't got no balance. He only love. He will allow things like this to Come on, man. man. We got we gotta preach the same <laughs> areas. Look, he all love, but look, look what's going on. Look what look, he all love the God that you serve, but look, look what's going on. Look, hey, hey, this ain't love right now, what you see in the, in the world, man. Man, it's judgment that you see seeing, man. The Lord is judging these people, man. And it's more and more, and man, it's increasing so much it don't make no sense. You can't get up in the morning time and tell me you ain't seen at least two, three, maybe four, five, six people that's been judged by your by Shim Shah on a daily basis. Every day. It's increasing, man. More and more. The Lord is fed up. Man, the Lord is fed up, man. He is tight. Just like we tired, man. Man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 47, to the chief musician, a song for the sons of Korah. Oh, clap your hands, all oh, you people. Shout out to your house with the voice of Trump, triumph, and we doing that by signing the crown in the midst of us. Verse 2, for the Lord, Yahweh, most high is terrible. He is great. He is wait, a great wait, wait, king. The most high what? For the Lord, Yahweh, most high is terrible. The most high is terrible, man. The, all you Christians talking about, y'all love, y'all love, y'all. Hey, the most high is terrible. He say, I build up. He say, I tear down. I destroy. He said, I give the, these kingdoms, man. The Lord do all these things, man. The real Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, man. Not this fake Jesus that y'all serve in Jehovah and Allah and Buddha. They can't do nothing. They ain't never did nothing for y'all since you've been worshiping. Look at the, uh, the was it India? They had all them so-called oh, idols and they knew them in the street. Man, they had a bulldozer, a bulldozer, all that shit. Man, look, we ain't worshiping these damn idols. They ain't did nothing for us since we've been worshiping. When you niggas gonna work up and wake up and remember and, and realize Jesus ain't doing nothing for you. Allah ain't doing nothing for you. Lord, Lord ain't doing nothing for you. Lord gave them them idols for them to worship. Damn, man. I, our people want to worship that stuff, man. Our people love to uh, worship what the heathens worship, yeah. man. They love to do what the heathens do, man. And they take it on and they make it bigger than the heathens. Yes, yeah, come this is the book of Psalms, chapter 47, verse 2. For the Lord, how most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth, man. The Lord ain't nothing to play with, man. And you jakes, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, wonder why you in the situation that you in, man, being at the bottom, getting your ass whooped every chance you get, man. Get shot down the fucking streets, man. You know? Man, just getting killed left to right, man. Judgment is going out, man. Day in and day out, man. Night in, night out, around the four corners of the earth, you niggas got the right to play, man? No! Man, you niggas that worship these damn idols, man, you are like it to them. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 115. Let's get to it. It's like you. Y'all like to celebrate, y'all like to worship JC, right? Uh, this, this is what, this is what JC is, man. This is the book of 
Psalms 115, verse 4. The idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. So, you know, your JCs, your Allahs, your Buddhas, that's the work of man's hands. And they made out of wood and stone, gold, silver, whatever you want to be, you know. Those are idols, man, you know. Verse 5, they have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. So the, these idols got mouths, they got ears, but they don't speak not, they don't hear not. Verse 6, they have ears, but they hear not. Nose have they, but they smell not. Verse 7, they have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither, neither speak they through, they through their throats. So what the Heavenly Father telling you, man? He telling you, like, look, leave them fucking idols alone and come back and serve me. Why? Because when all hell breaks loose, you're going to be crying to them, but they ain't going to be able to deliver you. They're not going to be able to save you. You know, then you're going to turn to him. But guess what? Proverbs 1, he's not going to listen to you. Why? Because he, well, he's, he's calling out now, but Jake ain't taking heed. The scripture tells you in the book of, of, of Judges chapter 10, man, it tells you, go cry unto them guys that you have chosen and let them deliver you in a day of your tribulation, you know? You can call on JC, you can call on Allah, but you still gonna be here. You still gonna get fucked up, man. Hey, uh, hey go, go to verse three. Verse three. This is the book of Psalms chapter 115, verse three. But our power is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. Hey, so the Lord, as he does things, man, he has to make things come to pass. And it says in Psalms 96, the gods of nations are idols. And but the Lord created the heavens. The Lord actually is doing these things. He says his counsel is going to stand and he's going to do all his pleasure. Hey, what was that? Uh, day guy, he kept following his face every day, man. <laughs> hey, he could have picked himself up. Hey, hey, JC in Brazil getting hey, shit it on by uh, birds. Hey, he ain't wiping that shit off himself, man. He getting shit on every day, man. Yeah. Hey, these these idols are just that idols, man. They are they not gods. It's hey, only one true God, man. That's y'all about shit, man. What's up, man? Right. Hey, that's forever, bro. Hey, forever. Look, look, the heathens over in India, uh, the Lord got them so bad and dismayed. They they rubbing cow poo on their body trying to get rid of the, uh, that, that that thing that was up about a year ago. Like man. them Africans, they stick their cow, they, they headed cow ass and shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> they they and look, look, and look. We didn't even know that we was Israelites. You know, when back in the day when you when you was kid, when you was a kid, somebody man, you African booty scratcher. Right, You're like, right, right. That's an insult. Yeah. 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 Hey man, don't nobody want to be a goddamn <laughs> hamite, man. Nobody. Don't nobody want to be a hamite, man. Even a hamite oh, don't want to be a hamite. Man. Hey, it comes from America. Hey, I'm, I'm American. I'm American. Yeah, you yeah, American. Right. You a hamite. Right. You a hamite. Yeah, man, you know, a hamite will wash up in his own piss instead of soap and water. A hamite will yeah. stick his head in a motherfucking um, cow's ass and, and suck shit out of the cow's ass. When he's constipated. And look, man, what? Look, look, look. That was um, Sodom and Gomorrah. A bunch of fucking hamites. And the hamites don't even believe in deodorant, man. You walk past him in the store, goddamn it, you like, oh shit. Well, man. he'll fart in Woo. his hand and rub it under his oh, arm. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about some the natural scent. It makes a woman mm, feels good to me. I'm like, man, I'm like, you it, it bring a woman, it attract a woman to you, but like, oh shit, I don't want to be a hammer. Like, that's some nasty stuff. For you to smell the way you smell, talking about that's a natural smell for the Lord. No, that ain't no natural smell. When you watch your booty and all that stuff, do you smell like that? Hey, hey, that's why the scriptures say, blessed is the nation whose God is your house. Why? Because hey. the Heavenly Father gave us law, statute, commandments to govern ourselves, man. You know, hey, it, hey, with certain cleaning protocols we got, we ain't finna just be walking around, hey, hey, rubbing it, uh, shit on us, man. You know? Hey, that's that's because all these other nations, they don't have a, a, a actual power, man. They just do whatever whatever they flesh feel like. Oh, I believe that I can put my finger, you know, do all this weird stuff, man. You know? Man, even a homeless, even a homeless Israelite man would take better care than themselves, man, than the ham might, man. <laughs> Man, a, 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 a homeless Israelite man, you know, will find any type of way to smell good when they don't have soap and water. But your hand mics, y'all, man, y'all can have all the money in the world and still do some dirty shit. Still smell fuck. <laughs> you got something in there? Yeah, I still got more. This is the book of Psalms 115, verse 9. O Israel, trust thou in your power. Matter of fact, let's move up. This is the book of Psalms 115, verse 8. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusts them in them. So if you, if you, man, if you believe in idols, man, you are laughing just like them. <laughs> I got a quick one. This uh, Wisdom of Solomon 15 and verse 4, I'm sorry, verse 3, it says, For to know thee is perfect righteousness, 
Yea, to know thy power is the root of immortality. You know, the Heavenly Father, to, uh, to be able to go into the scriptures and understand his wisdom, hey, that leads to immortality also, right? Verse 4, for neither did the mischievous inventions of men deceive us, nor image spotted with diverse colors the painter's fruitless labor. And they we're not deceived by idols, man. You got you, got you Latinos, you Native Americans, man. Uh, you got the uh, northern tribes, man. All type of uh, idols, man. It's worshiping this mischievous image. They got the Virgin Mary, Guadalupe, and all this metal and gold shit, man. And, and we just talking about idols and things like that. I know y'all probably can't really see too good, but right here across the street, you got these women over here. Got the sign, Jesus! Edomites. The Edomites, Jesus! Yeah, you see them right there on the corner. This is what the, this is what the world per, uh, uh, worship, man. Jump for Jesus. These idols that don't even exist, that can't do nothing, they ain't never done nothing for nobody. Yep. Go ahead, uh. It says, uh, verse 5, the sight whereof entice a fools to lust after it, and so they desire the form of a dead image that have no breath. And they are people, and they go after these different idols, man. They enticed by man. Hey, you had the nigga one. Hey, the brother put up in a group chat. The brother put up in a group chat. This black woman, so-called black woman, she had took this picture by this this so-called white man. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on, man. No, it's, it's gonna make it small. Somehow how beautiful and cute he is. Uh, whatever. Exactly. But hey, she in love with right. that image. Right. Yeah. You know. This said, uh, I'm gonna hit that verse again, verse five. Verse 5, it says, uh, the sight whereof entice the fools to lust after it, and so they desire the form of a dead image that have no breath. Now people trust in this, man. But guess what? It has no saving power. Verse 6, it says, both they that make them and they that desire them and they that worship them are lovers of evil things and are worthy to have such things to trust upon. So the Lord says, since you want to trust in idols, you, hey, you deserve them idols. So when he comes and bring that hell, that judgment, it says Yahweh is known by the judgment which he uh, executes. When you go, when he brings that judgment, don't come. Don't try and seek out the men of the Lord. Don't try and seek out Yahweh, Yahweh. So I don't call on those names. Go call on this dude. Go call on that, 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 that. <laughs> hey, go call on that stone over there in Mecca, man. And, and see if it deliver you, man. Hey, that's the power that the heavenly, that's the, that's the, the attitude that the heavenly father's going to have. The world that tricked everybody, let, let me correct that. The self-proclaimed white man, the Edomite of the Bible, they tricked everybody believing in this guy. Or they can just believe in anything. It's all cool if you fall for it. That's your ass, man. Yeah, uh, you got the promise that we're proving you, telling you what what's what's right, what a true life and what is. But you still want to trust in this guy, or trust in some shit that somebody just made Fox. in a lab and Fox. sold for money mm -hmm. that you got to clean and take care of. Mm -hmm. right. You got more power than that, mm -hmm. but you sitting there taking care of it, man. So hey, hey, you're worthy to worship that thing, and it's gonna lead you to destruction. No. I'm sitting up on the table, dusty as hell, oh, yeah. she walk up, like, and I'll pray to it, like, on, nigga, this shit ain't doing nothing. No, it, it, even they, they worship they so-called pastors, man. Oh, you got this yeah. motherfucker sitting in a damn, uh, 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 tub of uh, uh, fucking water, and everybody in fucking line, he in the tub, he just dipping the water out and letting everybody fucking drink the water. Oh, oh, the fucking oh yeah, my man, Nigeria. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, I, I, Israel is fucking stupid. Dumbing in a box of rocks, man. What is that got? You drinking a, a man's dirt. Like, what that got to do with the Lord, man? This man trying to set himself up like he's God, man. That ain't, he's not God. This is uh, Zephaniah uh, 2 and 1. Gather yourself together. Yea, gather together. Oh, nation not desires. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. That's why we'll be out here, man. It's still coming out of those big ways, man. You know, Israelites. It's still time to repent, man. Come on, man. I mean, you see the prophets out here still pushing this word, man. It's still time, man. When you see the video still up, it's still time, man. Right? Read that again. This is Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, together. Gather together, O oh, nation not desire. O oh, nation not desire. What nation is that? That's you so called black Latinos in America. Twelve tribes of Israel, man. You are a nation that's not desired, man. The Lord is talking to you. Uh, 7, 9, 2 and 2. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a shot, before the force, the, the, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. 
Seek ye the Lord, all you meek of the earth, which have walked his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be. Uh, it may be ye see, ye, like, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Man. Man, Lord telling you, man, turn back. It's a grace period, man. Come back. Come back. Listen to the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High, man. Because you don't want to be caught in the Lord's anger. Man, he said, hey, what's this, what's this you don't want to get the same judgment as the so called heathen, man. You don't want to get the same judgment as Esau gets, man. That's why the Lord tells you, he's not part of this world, man. Don't be like these people. Don't act like these people, man. Don't do what these people do, man. But follow the laws that's compared to you have by Shimei Abishai was living with that pushed out here by who? His prophet. And he said that was going to be out there. He was going to give you. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing. We ain't asking you for nothing. We don't need nothing. We don't want no money or none of that, man. And we take our heart, our time that we could be doing something else. But we out here doing what the Lord wants us to do, man. Isaiah 58 and 1. We out here crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up our voice like a trumpet and showing our people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins, man. Like I said, we could be doing anything else on a Friday. You know how many clubs open? You know how many legs open? You know how many places that we can be? But we can't be nowhere because the Lord already programs us to put us out here to do his business and his work. That's right. it. That's all. This Psalm chapter 50 and verse 22, it says, Now consider this, ye that forget the Most High, Lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offer of praise glorifies me, and to him that order of his conversation are right, will I show the salvation of the Most High. So once again, the Heavenly Father, like, look, get right before I jack your ass up, man. Those that's praising me in the latter day, and that's ordering their conversation, their conduct upright, being uh, separate, holy from this world, hey, hey, you're going to receive that salvation. But for those that don't, hey, the Lord is coming back with some fire for your ass. Woo! You know? It's the book of Luke, chapter 23, verse 31. If they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the draft? Right now, like the brother was going into us, you know, that this is a grace period. This is a grace period, man. If people get jacked up, you know, in, in you know, in, in the small in the small matter, how much more in the big matter when all hell breaks loose? Exactly. The people acting like complete animals right now, they still got TV, they still got cigarettes, they still got a lust at the tip of their finger. What happened with food? What happened when they don't have the bare necessities, man? And it's gonna be neighbor against neighbor, brother against brother. When that tree dries out, man, and, and how are you gonna be safe in these times, man? And it says in the book of Amos, the day of the Lord, and it's, it's gonna be as if uh, a man escaped one situation and got into another one. He got out that one, but judgment still came for your ass, man. So the only way to be protected from these sad times and, and to be hid in the pavilion of the Lord is to be seeking him right now. You see why the Lord's hand is stretched out? He got the prophets on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, highways and byways in America, and around the whole world, telling you, like, look, I'm finna come and destroy this place. Get right. No, I got one. This Proverbs 11 and 4, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. So all this stuff that y'all doing, TikTok. Hot pop, hot scotch, all that bullshit, man. Look, the Lord ain't dealing with none of that, man. Read that again, Ox. Proverbs 11 to 4. Riches profit not. Riches profit not. And you out here talking about I'm hustling. I'm about to get all this money and shit, bro. Man, man, look, man, y'all, you need to get with me, bro. I'm telling you, man. We about to get out, man. We about to get all this, man. The Lord ain't dealing with none of that, bro. Oh, yeah. Lord ain't dealing with none of that, man. You supposed to be chasing your how about shooting me out with shots for your salvation in the time in this hell that we about to go through, man. You supposed to be trying to get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Oh, sorry. That's gonna be the stability of your time and the time that you be coming into right now. Proverbs 11 and 4, riches come not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Righteousness. Righteousness delivered from death. Righteousness, man. What is righteousness, man? Listening to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, the law, statute, commandments that he commanded us to, to do. No matter where he's driven us, no matter where we at, he said we're supposed to keep these things till all things be fulfilled. Everything ain't been fulfilled. So you church folk going folks, guess what? It has not been done away with. The law, statute, commandments of the Lord has never been done away with. Yeah. If they was done away with, why is the Lord going to write it in the inward parts of his people? Why are they going to be ministering in the kingdom? Why is this still written in the book, man? And you people believe anything that the scripture say. 
It says simple man will not be reproved, but he finds an excuse according to his will. Oh, well, that's the Old Testament. Oh, well, you can't keep them all. Might as well you break one, you break them all. all. <laughs> Niggas just want to be wicked. Hey, this brother, there was a brother on social media. He posted a picture of uh, like obesity rates across the United States. So everywhere where the red got darker, it was the yeah. most obese people. You had down in the southern states where a lot of dead kids, they shit was like really bad. Why? Because yeah. they eat a bunch of abominable foods. Hey. The Heavenly Father tell you, don't eat this, don't eat that. Why? Because it's going to fuck you up. Hey, the Lord said, I speak things that are right. You know? Hey, the Lord tells us not to do these things because they're because they benefit you, man. But when you don't do them, hey, it leads to a hey, death, sorrow, pain, obesity, suffering, a hey, disorder. That's that's going out of the uh, the, the, the uh, plan of the Heavenly Father, man. You know. Hey, going back to what you said, uh, you say that the law of statutes commandments has been done away with. So what are you going to be judged by when the Lord comes back? If that's been done away with. What, 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 is, what the Lord is judging? What, what is he judging? Lord, know my heart. Lord, know my heart. Oh, my God. They good at that. Lord, know my heart. He know what I really mean and what I know. Nah, yeah, that's why he's going to kill your ass. He know what you really mean. You was a wicked-ass nigga who's trying to blame the Lord for your weakness. So, hey, yeah, the Lord's going to destroy you, man. Have you set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense into my own? Hey, hey, they stood out there for what, five minutes? It got way more hearts. Yeah, hey, we got for three, four, five months, man. Hey, that's how you show that these oh, people man. are in, in love with idol worship, man. Hey, hey, hey our people are in love with going out. We said, man, even from alone, he's joined to idols. Hey, Jake is completely through, man. Look. Hey, Jake got that uh, uh, JC demon on him. The, uh, they the Muslim demon had me on Jake, man. And they go to oh, jail. Man, now, every time they go, like your brother say, they go to jail, nigga, I'm a Muslim. They get in trouble by with, with, with so-called Esau, he a Muslim. Man, they, they, they Muslim out in this place, man. But like, like we was just saying, man, look, if right now if we take the horns off this man and be like, oh, hey, Jesus, Jesus is your Lord and Savior. You know how many people around here be hunking their horns and, hey, yeah, you right, yeah, bless you, bless you. Hey, man, we ain't, we ain't got time for this. Yeah. That's how you know we speaking the truth, because guess what? Ain't nobody honking the horn for y'all about shit now. They only honking the horn for Jesus. Hey, well, for one, they don't know the Lord, man. The Lord don't know them, man. So he ain't dealing with people, man. He ain't dealing with slick people, man. Hey, we are blessed to have the name, the name of the Lord and know the name of the Lord. And we're blessed to be able to understand the scriptures. <laughs> That's right. But these people, they say uh, Isaiah 30 and 10. But say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. Some people like to hear smooth things, man. Hey, 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 they just walked past with a flyer that said, hunk for Jesus, but on the other side, they was getting money, man. Oh, wow. Come on, Prop, now. Prop, Prop. So, hey, 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 oh, that's they, the they, they see yeah, J.C., because sure. people driving past, they see J.C., oh, oh, yeah. they, all the time this nigga idle, then they just toss their money, man. See, that's a plain as hell, you know? Lord Cole with it. Mr. the book of Second Peter, chapter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring them upon themselves with destruction. So, you know, how people like to go to these false prophets, you know, teaching J.C., Buddha, whatever the case may be, you know. Verse 2, you know, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So all the people like to drop their money and go, you know, see JC, you know. But you know, when it comes to us, you ain't gonna hardly have nobody come, you know, and trying to seek Yahweh by Shimia or Shah because there's few people that's gonna seek us, you know, and more people to seek, you know, the JCs, the idols, you know what I'm saying? And that's our people. Our people like to do that shit, man. They like to have a soul. And that's gonna end up, that's gonna end up giving them swift destruction when no hell breaks loose, you know, and when the missiles come. They ass is crazy. They don't have no guidance. I mean, don't have no guidance. They have no patience, man. They hate to be reformed or reproved about their wicked ways, man. Look, just what you just said, man. Jake believe his chopper and his pistol is going to save him in these days, man. He believe he's going to be able to stop Esau with these bulletproof vests 
They got shields now. They got, they got robot, robot dogs coming out, man. One cook, and they got drones with uh, shotguns and yeah. shit like that, man. Right. They just showed on World Star a drone dropped a, a little grenade in the car and blew up some soldiers, yeah. man. So they, they, they're, out, they're mechanizing and harmonizing if they so called uh, inventions they came up with supposed to be helping people. No, they're putting weapons on these things, man. This devil is all about killing, man. And that's what he's going to do to a lot of our people, man, when the times come, man. If you don't come out of your wicked way, man. It's Ezekiel 3 and 5. It says, For thou art not sent to, to a people of a strange nation, of a strange speech, and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel, not to many people of a strange speech and in hard language, whose words thou cannot understand. Truly, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. So the Lord's like, damn, I ain't saying to the heathen. I ain't saying to these strange nations, I'll send you to your people, man, to wake them up. Hey, but if I sent you to the heathen, if I hypothetically told you the heathen was the people, they'd be up here hearkening, listening. Hey, you used to talk to Jake. Oh, well, what about uh, uh, the so-called white, white man? man. Why, why, <laughs> where, where they go? Where they fit at in this? Hey, nigga, you, you. can make it. Damn. Worry about yourself, man. Hey, they don't give a damn about you. Matter of fact, hey, they have a perpetual hatred, hatred. against you, oh, yeah. man. They've been putting you to death. Hey, for years on years on years on years. Hey, somewhere right now, Jake's gonna put the death by Esau, man. Or the other heathen. But what? Jake out there, they go after the lovers, man. They go after the heathen. You had, uh, back what you were saying, this guy, uh, Charles Barkley, was, uh, they had him on, on, on YouTube or something. And he was interviewing, uh, the Ku Klux Klan member or uh, KKK member or something. That mother said, man, I hate your black ass. No, shut up, I hate you. Charles said, man, Luke said, I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> that's representation of man. He's like, I love you. I love you. And that's our people. Esau, they got something called Black History Month. They show you the atrocities. They, when we was in school, they used to show us the atrocities. Jake getting bit on all his private parts by uh, dogs getting sick on us. The fire department came up with the holes and holes your ass down. It was cold outside. Hey, Jake's so simple. They still see this, and, and they just drunk that philosophy, that wine. They say, you know what? I forgive you. I love you. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jake Lord said to love and forget. But here it is. Jake can't even forgive and get his own goddamn family. Hey, 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 he'll hey, kill his family and shit, but he'll love Esau and white. Over $10. Come on, man. Crazy. Hey, this man, our people sick. Hey, I seen this post. It was just, They said it was this nine-year-old Jake or whatever, right? They said a, a white woman supposedly accused him of uh, sexual harassment or whatever. They proved him innocent. Bro, it probably could have been BS, but he said, I won't forgive you, man. Yeah, he was in the spirit, man. But hey, Jake is so docile, as the brother mentioned, they don't after their mothers. The same people that treat you like shit, that is responsible for your destruction to this day, mm -hmm. that's destroying your neighborhoods, that's, 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 that's giving these degenerate ass rappers all this money, you know? Hey, you love these people, man, but they've done nothing but destroy you, man. But but let you come in the, you know, but let you come in the spirit of a real man reading the judgment. They gonna hate us though, right. you know. Give and forget. But tell, it's something tell stupid. Me, ass and and giving you the good time, he's telling you that the Lord right. ain't forget. Right. The Lord finna come back and pay back Jake. Like, oh, no, I don't, right. don't want to hit that. Right. I want to be a slave to my master. Yep. So they got the master time. Oh uh, yeah, the master. Yeah. And, and brainwash me so much. Hey, you gotta forgive. You supposed to forgive. And hey, what he say? God love everybody. So you got the Negroes around here thinking that this fucking the devil is his brother. That I'm supposed to forgive him. If I don't forgive him. The Lord ain't gonna forgive me. Right. Man, the Lord ain't dealing with Esau, man. The Lord ain't dealing with your your, your enemy, man. Well, well, our people got some called that Stockholm syndrome, syndrome man. Okay. It's the Book of Isaiah, chapter thirty, verse thirteen. Therefore, this is. And and therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swell it out in the high wall. Slock it. Let's read up. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 12. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despised his word and trust in oppression. Right. They, Jake despised the, the true teachings of the men of the Lord, man. We coming in at Isaiah the 61, the, the first chapter, bringing the good tidings. Hey, our people are the Israelites. We're not just black, Latino, and Native Americans, but we are the chosen children of the Most High. Right. Hey, 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 the Most High finna send his son, which is a so-called black man, named Yahweh Shai. He's finna come back, deliver us, right. destroy the people that destroyed us, give us a glorious kingdom. But Jay walked past, I don't wanna hear that oh, shit, man. man. Jesus Christ. Christ. I need it now. We go to church on Sunday. You Jesus Christ. Too deep. We gotta love everybody. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody hate your black ass, man. Right. Come on. I got something for you. Come on. It's more than that. It says in what? In trust and oppression, man. In trust and oppression. You trust in a self-proclaimed white man. The same man that, that, that's destroying you, man, through your school systems, through the music, in every way, shape, or form, it says they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. 
They want to keep you niggas as, as, as bottom, as, as low grade uh, citizens, working the fucking worker jobs, the uh, undesirable jobs, you know? Keep you in undesirable neighborhoods. Exactly. Keep the, they, they wanna, our enemies keep that foot on our neck, man. Our people don't want to come out of that, that fucking exactly. spirit, that, sl that slumber. Man, why though? Hey, because Lord already warned you, Jake. So called Israelites. He said, Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help. I'm, I'm right there. I'm right there. Oh, you, you got it? I'm left. Finish. Okay. I'll go ahead. In trusting oppression and perverseness and stay there on. Our people have that Stockholm syndrome, man. They love, they love to love their oppressors, man. They love the so called white men who have been putting a foot up their ass since day one. You know? Up, yeah. our, people, our people love to work these jobs, man. You know, ain't profit them nothing. Ain't getting paid shit. You know? Kanye West saying the sun's spaceships. Working on space, I ain't see shit. I wish I could buy me a spaceship to fly. You ain't making shit. But you, man, y'all love to have it, so y'all love Christianity, man. Y'all love plantation Christianity, man. Y'all love being at the bottom. It's uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. Go to the rebellious children, said the Lord, to take counsel, but not of me. And they cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. That they, they may add sin to sin, like you got Jake that want to be Muslim. They want to go fight for Black Lives Matter. Add sin to sin. Add sin to sin. Add sin, sin, to sin. But they won't come under the covenant of the Lord. Uh, you won't. Hey, you you want to you want to go against the system. You want to be against you know the powers that be. Hey, what better? Hey, they come right here. Uh, hey, you fighting for the cause. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, this, hey this is of the Heavenly Father, man. All that other shit is not. This is hey, the best fight of all, right here. Hey, Black Lives Matter tell you they want to destroy the nuclear family. They don't, oh, want your, okay. they don't want your, the, the black man lead in the household. Right, right, right. Who's funding that? Who's giving money into that organization? So, hey, hey, what does it lead to? The further destruction of, 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 your, of your race, your people. That's right. This is uh, Isaiah 32. They walk, they walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strip themselves in the strip of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Hey, you, hey, hey, who's, hey, who's running this Egypt, man? Hey, hey Babylon is known as Sodom and Egypt, man. Hey, hey, who's ruling, man? Esau, Edom. So you rather trust in hey, Esau, Edom, the flesh, man, the man that's destroyed you and smote you, rather than coming back to you. How about Sham Yahweh Shai that said he will heal you, he will repair you, he will fix you. Right. Not only that, he going to lift you up and put the heathen down. And he only for you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, it said that remnant is not going to stay upon him that smote him. Hey, but you got our people saying, hey, coming, coming back. He keep whacking you. You get up, dust yourself off, walk right back, get mm -hmm. whacked, get up, come right back. Man, you people are out of your damn mind. The Lord destroy you is mercy, man. The Lord rewire you is mercy because you people are out of your mind. The Lord said, what more shall I do to you? I just did all these good things for you. It said the second verse, the first chapter, I destroyed many kings for you, nations. I just, look what I did to Pharaoh. Hey, you people still revolt. You people still rebel. And they started cheering his first hand. They saw the salvation first hand. They, they walked on a dry sea, man. They walked on the bottom of the sea, man. Walked right back, walked right through it. But the Egyptians got smoked, right. got destroyed. Right. And these people still, hey, did you bring us to the wilderness of diamond? Murmuring and shit? And even we had leaks. Right. right, right. But no. we serve the rigor. The Lord ain't saving no nigga like that, man. No. This is uh, Isaiah 33. Back to what you just said. Therefore, shall the strip of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in and the trust the shadow of Egypt your confusion, man. And Jake finna be through, man. Right. Hey, you didn't take his, his juice, man. Exactly. You, got, you know, you're not an organism no more. You know? right. Hey, you, you, um, it's no more uh, men and women no more. Y'all them uh, fed into the philosophy, this transformer philosophy. Oh, you got this um, AI uh, uh, new technology bullshit that's coming out, so some of y'all gonna be banging the um, Big yeah. computers very yeah. soon. Yeah. You know? Oh man, it's, it's nigga. Hard, man. Hey, you ignored the prophet. Now you finna take his karagma yeah. too. Oh yeah, yeah. And your ass Lily gonna yeah. be smoking. Yeah, yeah. 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 Niggas don't even want no no women no more, man. Niggas, uh, niggas want some virtual shit, bro. Right. Niggas want some niggas fucking, virtual pussy. Two D pussy, man. You don't have a toy. Oh, I can't talk right. to you. Right, right. Right. Computer, Walking into the computer. Hey, right. you. You got a toy? Log into the computer. Oh, you don't? I can't talk to you. Next, I gotta they go to somebody else. Two D ass. She got a toy that do her. All he gotta do is play with the joystick. I'm gonna play with you. You play with me. Type bullshit, man. This you is, all the way over there in Europe, man. I'm in China. Hey, come on, let's play with each other. That's good. Hey, look, this <laughs> devil. Oh man, oh my God, he got the people all fucked up. Oh my goodness, man. Hey, he got the people where they don't even want to touch another person, though. But I just want to use the toy. 
Just plug it up to the computer. Everything gonna be computerized. Everybody acting like a goddamn robot. Right. Hey, everybody that's said they can get that Karag, man. They gonna be just like that. That's why we need the Lord to come back, man. That's why we out here, man. That's right. We need the Lord to come back, man. We believe in our case now, man. You know. Because this place is done, man. It's over with, man. The brother just gave you a rundown of what this devil wants to do, man. He wants you to be banging computers, man. Cat computer pussy, man. Mm -hmm. They already got the, the dolls. And they, and they have blow up dolls. Now they, they got, got the whole the, thing, uh, man. Well, that was for the women. Remember, the women had a whole bunch of them. Yeah, they got the rolls. They said that's Jack and They got, they got yeah. real yeah. dolls. Yeah. That, I'm talking about a doll that feel real and everything I mean, that you can take home and all that shit. Boy, I'm like, what the I'm going to cost like $3,000. Yeah. That's yeah. all yeah. the jiggly doll and shit. Yeah, yeah. you feel real and everything. Right. You might I'm like, go buy some shit, man. man. Oh, I got that damn toy dog. That's the came, came out when I was young. No. That toy dog. Oh, man. That's what they, that's the best they ready to have. Like, man. <laughs> Ooh, I, I got it's Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 20. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, of Israel in truth. And hey, that's the beautiful thing about this uh, faith, man. We're no longer trusting in this man that destroyed us. We're no longer looking for mercy and reparations from a system that don't, don't respect us, don't count us as people, you know? We no longer walking with our heads down and our only hope being in the ship we see. And we're trusting in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He says, we, we, here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. Right. And we, we go to sleep and we dreaming about rulership, sovereignty. A nigga is, 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 is thinking about a fucking two-bedroom crib. <laughs> a mini mansion at the most. Right, right, right. That ain't right, shit right. still under the, the, the foot of your enemies. Yeah. It says verse, uh, real quick, brother, cause niggas go to the NFL, the NBA, they buy these little ass cribs, this is what you just said, these gay communities. Big ass million dollar house with you right next door to the nigga. You look out the window, you can see somebody right up. That ain't no fucking living. I need, I need lion, I need acres, I need roads. The nigga next door to you is an Edomite, and that nigga hates you. Oh, he hates you. And, right. he, he wrote, uh, and you still a nigga at the end of the day. You still a nigga. He done wrote, uh, get out my neighborhood, nigga on your garage. <laughs> and the security guard to get them in one of the little black ass But you still talking about love, though. The police ain't coming. Or you gonna rush your black ass. They gonna rush your black ass. <laughs> It's Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 21. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, it's a bunch of Israelites out there, right? Yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with the righteousness. Shall overflow with righteousness. Okay, two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. Hey, they, they sick, man. They love all this, all this BS, man. They walk around like that, nigga, man. You know? They, they got the spirit of Satan on them, man. Oh my goodness. He lost his mind. He got some money. Go ahead, bring it out. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 4. And whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach and Hawashai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So like, like the brother was going into, you know, you got NFL players, you know, having these big ass mansions, but you living right next to Esau, man. Hey, man, these devils got you people thinking you free, and you not free. You not free, man. You still, you still in the land of your captivities. Right. You know, you still, you still got to go to your enemies for the one of all things. Yep. No matter how much money you make, you will never be on top like the self-proclaimed white man. You always going to be a nigga, man. But you niggas want this damn world, man. Y'all want a two room, two room fucking bedroom. Hey, you man. can be a nigga. Y'all about to smoke a shot? Huh? You say show. Say it again. Nah, hey, no, fuck all that. Yeah. It's a lot of you, bro. It's a lot of you. I got a piece of this. It's a lot of you. Eleven. Matthew 11 and 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Yeah, man. Hey, we here to labor for this truth. <laughs> we ain't got no time for these people. <laughs> yeah, let a fool argue with a fool. Man, this is what we doing right here is a private. This is a private session. This is for the elect. <laughs> this ain't for no zombies in the world, man. Keep it, that nigga for the drive and crash. Oh, yeah, yeah. He <laughs> might die tonight. Matter of fact, we don't want him to die tonight. We want him to die next day. Oh, people suck. Hey, I don't hey, want hey, hey, In that day, he gonna suck. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna, I want him to live all the way to the middle. Yeah, 
I want his yeah. family members to die in front of him. He go see that hey, my fight. That's right, yeah. brother. Hey, so that's the type of guy that, that the Lord says that every idle word. Mm -hmm. All right. As we said, man, we up here preaching the most beautiful thing in the world, and you got some guy telling us to shut up. Amen. <laughs> hey, that's a beautiful thing, though. You mad as hell? Yeah, we speaking something that's probably for you. Is that a nigga? No. Yeah, okay. How do you be a nigga? Yeah, he's spiritual. He's spiritual. He's spiritual. He's spiritual. He's spiritual. He's spiritual. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, it was a damn meeting. But hey, that's condemnation for him too, man. Because we reached our people and the world. All right? Now, only the Lord truly knows the work that we're doing up here, man. That's why I call this a labor of love. That's right. That's right. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff that we could be doing on a Friday night. Then being out in this cold ass weather, raining, prophesying to the wind. Hey, you got some dumb ass niggas trying to scoff and talk shit, man. Hey, that's why the Lord is going to happily destroy you people. That's right. Niggas and heathens alike. The Lord is going to destroy all you fucking people, man. And you deserve it. You deserve it and then some. Go ahead, brother. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 6. But whosoever shall fear one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone would hang about his neck and that he would drown in the depths of the sea. So you'll fear any one of us, men of the Lord. Hey, man, the Lord's going to kill your ass, man. Verse 7, woe unto the world because of offenses. But if it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Hey, in the book of, uh, I, believe it, I believe it was Kings, well, with Elisha the prophet, you had the uh, kids come and mock him. Yeah. They say, go down bald head, and hey, the Lord cursed him, and she bears came and destroyed all, all the bears. Yeah. Hey, how much more the men of the Lord that's prophesying the, the, that's prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great and ushering the kingdom of heaven, man? In the latter days. In the latter days, man. Hey, the Lord is going to bring some fire for you people, some, hey, some judgments, man. And this is the point right here. This is the book of Matthew chapter 18, verse 8, where right for If thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life or, or main rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. So, man, the Lord's going to cast that nigga into fire and anybody, man, any nigga who's scoffing us and you heathens, man, y'all going to feel it, man. No father appreciates, I mean, what father who has a son appreciates somebody belittling his own son? That don't make any sense. So how much more the Lord, and we're his sons, the Lord doesn't appreciate you niggas or you heathens alike talking shit about his sons. The ones that are out here doing this labor of love, trying to help your musty ass, when all you want to do is smoke blunts and Fuck the nigga damn SpongeBob body right. nigga woman. Match your body nigga woman. American body. Nigga woman. On the catfish diet. Oh, yeah. Man, fuck you niggas, man. No, seriously, fuck you niggas. Like shrimps and crabs and shit. That's right. I wonder why they cootie cat stank and shit. This Jude chapter 1 and verse 14. And Enoch also, the seven from Adam, prophesied of these saying, Behold, Yahweh Shai come up with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are, un are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their harsh speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Say what the Lord says is, uh, uh, marvel not the world hate you, but me and hate him. And right. all we are bringing is, is the word of the Lord. Right. So when people talk shit about us or say something about us, you're not saying it's us, you're saying it's uh, the one that gave us the message. Who's that? Hey, Yahweh Shai, who did he get it from? Yahweh, man. So, hey, hey, you scoffing against the Lord. You gonna come back and, and jack your ass up, man. And hey, what the Lord said, you didn't have, they, they had to be first, right? right? So we're not offended. Because when we when we was in the world, you loved us. Right. When we was part of this society, you loved us. You didn't have no problem whatsoever with us. Once we came into the Bible, he's acting different. Yeah. He's not the same person. He's strange. Oh, right. you better than right. us now? Oh, you think you're you good, good, huh? You're huh? you yeah. 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 you taking care of yourself, huh? You smell good, huh? Israel, man. And then when you smell it, you want all of them. You're a Muslim now. You're a Muslim about yourself. What you eat, man? What you eat? Like, that's the only meat in the world. So, what type of fun you have? You don't do this. You don't do that. What type of fun you got? 
This the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, yes. and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Great. <laughs> so, man, you know. I'm crazy I'm as hell being in this truth, man. Uh -huh. You and crazy all of a sudden. Mom, you told, they think I'm weird as hell too. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, good. Yeah, that means I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Hey, man. What do you mean with me? If you oh, want to run yourself weird, hey, that's all great because the Lord said that's a beautiful thing when people don't like being around you anymore because you put this truth. Good. All right, because when you come into the Somebody back them up, back them up. Yeah, back them up. Back them up. Back them up. Because they, they, they see the spirit on you, man. Oh, you got some more in there? I think there's more. That's it. Oh, yeah, got more. Puff Daddy said, it's the book. You can hate me now, but I won't stop now. Verse 23, rejoice ye in that day, and leave for joy. For behold, the reward is great in heaven. Did it say leave for joy? Yes. Did you read it again? Did it say leap for joy yes. when people are against you? Yes. Gone. Come on, man. This is the book of Luke chapter 6, verse 23. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did that fathers unto the prophets. So, man, you know, I, man, I, I people, man, hate the prophets. Hell, they killed us. They stoned us to death, man. They beat us to death, you know? And those are the same people coming back into life, man, and they and they lots. They hate us, man. Hey, 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 forget us. They put the Lord to death, man. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, mm -hmm. These niggas are cruel. But oh, yeah. the Lord said this is a joyous thing. Why? Because you're gonna have a reward for this. That's right. That's right. Swing that sword. This brother. first Peter 4 and 13, it says, uh, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed. Ye, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So hey, so yeah, we gonna uh, we hey, we like we going through being scoffed, being talked shit about, you know. But guess what? It means we're doing something right. It means we're uh, glorifying the Lord. Verse uh, fourteen, it says, "If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of the Most High rests upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of." A lot of you brothers in the truth. People hate you because you're no longer the person you used to be, man. You man, you're no longer in darkness, you're no longer dead. You're like, hold on, man, something's not right with this world that I'm living in. Right. Yeah. What's wrong with you? They're devil worship. Right? Everybody's in a satanic mind frame. Everybody's about adultery, murder, yeah. death, covet. Yeah, sodomy, sodomy. Hey, 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 of course, hey, I mean, I think these niggas think we weird, man. Niggas walk around with face condoms on. Uh, niggas uh, taking, hey, venom, they don't know what the fuck in the shit, don't know man. What they take, hey, bro. niggas eating all type of abominations, man. Eating anything, sitting on their ass, wake up, go to work, do the same shit, and think this life, man. Of course they're gonna think we weird, man. Hey, and it's a good thing because it shows that we're doing the right thing. Because what? The Lord said, this ain't my kingdom. Hey, he said, if this is my kingdom, my servants will fight. But hey, this is not the Lord's kingdom. So what? Uh, we're waiting on the Lord to come back. Hey, he's going to come to the astonishment of you people. Right? That's why I said we wait for a new heaven and a new earth. All right? We're not waiting to make it big over here. Right. We're not waiting to, to, for things to get better yep. and keep on preaching so you niggas can scoff and live it up good and shit. Right, no. Right, right. We're waiting for something better. Right. Way better than this. Right. Nigga with purple dreads and skinny jeans fuck with his hand saying call us here. It's a transformer on the writing of this shit though. Right. <laughs> this is homie, but don't judge him. They look don't at us, him. But we weird though. We're in the Bible though. Come on. No. What's up, homie? I'm going to finish it. Now this first Peter 4 and 17, it says, uh, For if ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, mm -hmm. happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of the Most High rest upon you. And I, I, I apologize, because I'm going to be honest. It's hard to behave. When you, when you, God damn, my mama don't like me. My bitch don't like me. Nobody like me. What is this? This is the, this is the Lord. This is the truth. Hey, this is the truth. Yeah, how was shot? Man, they spat on the Lord, man. They fucking put a thing around the Lord's head. He was sweating blood, bro. Yeah, and you talking about, I want to follow in the Lord's footsteps, but you don't want persecution. Yeah, hey, you would surely drink. So you would surely drink, you know, when our uh, mother came to the two sons. You say, yeah, you would surely drink. You would surely drink, drink no. of this persecution, man. Yep. It says, for the spirit of glory and of the most high rest upon you. Hey, you want glory, you got to suffer. <laughs> 
You want to be on top, you got to learn to be on, on the low. Yeah. Hey, we eating from the tree of, of the garden of good and evil. Oh. Hey, hey, your bitch sucking dick down the street, but it ain't yours. Yeah, I know. She no longer with you. Yeah, your, your baby mama with another nigga. Yeah. All your baby mamas with another nigga. Man, come on, man. How many women we done had in the past? Where are these hoes at? Married with children, with other men, right? So we can't get emotional, man. Hey, fuck the woman. Sophia, where you at, baby? Sophia, Sophia don't leave you, man. Sophia don't go nowhere if you done left Sophia here forever. Go ahead, man. It's his. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. See, these people, they can shame us and talk shit about us because we believe in the scriptures. But that's cool. That means that the Most High is dealing with us, man. That means we're glorifying and living how the Heavenly Father want us to be uh, living, man. The Lord, hey, he look at these people, and he like, hey, this is smoking my nose, man. Hot <laughs> too. Yeah. Hey, get that shit away from me. That's strange. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Right. That's just out of here. You got it. This might be fun and eleven. Blessed are ye when men shall revel you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. For exceedingly glad? Exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Now go ahead, y'all shy gave us a parable and said you got the uh, count. You have to uh, count the cost, okay? So you have to know what you're into, man. Because, hey, this word is full of wickedness. It says when you depart from evil, you make yourself a prey. Because everyone in this place is evil. Everyone in this place is wicked, man. Going completely off, completely contrary to the Lord. Hey, we're, we're trying to uh, get reconciled with the Lord. We're trying to be on the Lord's good side, man. We're trying to show the Lord we're not with this place. We don't want to get caught up in this judgment. It said in 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, the day was despised. They, don't, they despised not prophet, but the Lord was gifted in the spirit. They also need to despise from the Lord, and we're speaking the words of the Lord. We're speaking righteousness, which these people hate, man. And it says that uh, Hebrews 4, chapter out of the Lord's Lord. word is sharp, man. So, uh, the more than two, any, hey, can somebody do it? Two edged sword. Like, like, you're like, 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 exceedingly happy, man. Hey, man, we have to watch. Because the Lord has given us the knowledge we can understand to see these things, man. That's why we have it. That's why we ain't going to like a two third would be. Oh, my mama don't like me, my daddy don't like me, my, my, my sister don't like me, my kids don't like me. Hey, man, we don't give a fuck if you don't like me. We don't care. Hey, because the Lord hey, said that these things are going to happen. So, hey, we know what we're doing. The Lord is guiding us, man. He's giving us all this. Go ahead, now. It's the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 4, verse 12. For when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you. Again, man. <laughs> but that's true too, though, man. That's not even to you. That's not even to you. Oh, so I got it. I apologize. But that's important. That's important. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get that bullet shit out of you. I apologize, bro. I seen that. I'm like, I got to read that. <laughs> that's that's right. Hey, that's a heavy problem Jake got, yeah. man. Yeah. And Jake don't want to be taught. They they think they know some shit. Yeah, look, they ain't read the Bible a day in their life. They didn't know. They woke them up, told them they ain't right there. Oh, yeah. Look, then you talk about something. No, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me say. Nah, no, God, I'm just kidding. No, right, right, right. Like, wait a minute. Hold on. You going to try to teach the teacher? Well, you don't know nothing about the scripture. Now you want to know. And you now you know everything. Because you, you walk out with Israelite now. So now I know what I'm talking about. You don't know shit. You don't know nothing. Right, right. Be quiet. Bible crispy as hell. Man, yeah. come on, man. Open the open year. <laughs> Some of some. <laughs> she bought the Bible in the 70s. That bitch looked brand new in 2020. Oh, yeah. Ain't nobody touched that motherfucker. What you said? Where you got your Bible from? Oh, so I snatched from my, uh, my dude I knew in the world was going to church, man. That nigga ain't never touched that oh, bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry, that Bible. Yeah, he's just holding around, you know, look good when you go to church. Look, he said, he got a right. bookmark of John 3, 16. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me take this away from you. Come on, man. Oh, you don't oh, need oh. it. Dirty snatch. You don't have this. This is book of <laughs> Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow. And it is the discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. Hey, so hey, when you get cut, man, you get cut with this word, man. And that's why the scriptures say, blessed is he is not offended in me. Because, hey, 
because these scriptures are coming and they're completely against what you learn, man. Completely against what your family is on, completely against what your friends are on, completely against what your woman's on, completely against what your flesh is on, man. So what, these people want to scoff it, these people want to be against it, but ultimately it's to your detriment because the Lord's coming back regardless. The Lord's going to destroy this place regardless. So, hey, it's, hey, it's, it's to your betterment if you get right, man. The Lord don't need us. We need Him. That's right. Man. Now, now the fact, you know what? I'm going to go to verse 11, 4 and 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the, the, the same example of unbelief. <laughs> yeah, and we got to labor to enter into that rest, and that's the rest that Yahweh Shai is going to give us in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So we have to hey, put in this work. Ultimately, hey, show that you, uh, not with this place, show that you want salvation. Hey, it says they, uh, in 2nd Ezra's that they have faith and works. They have faith and works. That's the ones that are going to be saved. Yeah. And these people over here, lotty dolly doing their thing. That's why I said make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Mm. For suddenly that destruction is going to come, man. Hey, people think that they got time. Well, you know, and I'm, let me get this bag, man. I'm, I'm going to be right back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be right back. Now, you, you ain't got me. You got yourself. I got you, boss. Don't I'm worry about right. me. <laughs> I'm straight. <laughs> I got you, bro. I'll be back. dealing with reality, bro. He ain't dealing with reality, bro. Matter of fact, um, just to put the, um, we gotta go to second essence when they had the liberty. Uh, bear with me. What is that? Uh, I love you, brothers. I love you, brothers. Woo! Oh, I love you. How about you, y'all? What's up? Second essence nine and bear with me. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna read second essence nine and. I'll start at seven. And it reads, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by the faith whereby ye shall ye believe. Come on, brothers, get it in. By the works and by the faith, man. By one work, man. Hey, you get lost out some kids, best real good at coming out here prophesying to the wind, man, and waking up the elect. Man, it's works that you have to do, man. It ain't just no, oh, I'm an Israelite. Uh, I, believe, you Lord. Say, I believe that the Lord's going to save you. No. No, man. It's works, man. You got to get in this, man. And it reads, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be, be able to escape, escape what? The tribulation. Yeah. Right? By his works. Yeah, we work, we out here working, baby. We, we about the Lord's business. And by the faith whereby ye have believed. Hey, so you have to you have to believe, and your belief is gonna uh, have you walking in a certain way. You're gonna have a certain type of conduct, man. You're gonna be doing certain things. You're gonna be praying, doing your lessons, reading. You know, if you're on a prophet, or if you just believe, you're not gonna be doing this. You're not gonna be doing that. You know, that's what the Lord is coming back and delivering, man. Not just somebody that says I'm Israelite. <laughs> now, I was thinking about my cousin. He know he is like that nigga still smoke weed, get lined up, commit adultery. You know, that, hey, uh, so the they ain't get it delivered, man. And he know right, he know it's right and wrong, you know, but you know, well, hand. that's how you get delivered, man. You gotta have those faith and those works, man. Yeah. Verse 8 mm -hmm. shall be preserved from the said perils. Is that you're gonna be safe from the said destruction? What we read? You're reading about famine, you're reading about a uh, neighbor versus neighbor, and, and, and the devil coming down. Hey, this nigga, yeah, he got all types of robots and weird ass machines, man. Don't you wanna be delivered from that? Don't you wanna be preserved from all that trouble, man? And it's, no, keep going, but I got something back. Hey, we read Psalm to 91st chapter, and the Lord says it's gonna be death right here and death right there. You know? Don't you wanna be a, don't you wanna be out of that, man? How do you get out of that, man? You gotta come back to the Lord and, and, and order your conversation already. You know? Uh this is James, the second chapter, the seventeenth verse. My spirit. <laughs> Young brother, go ahead. Young brother, no, no, you go ahead. You started no, already. Sling it, brother. Sling it out. Sling it, brother. Go ahead. That's spirit, though. It's yeah, the book of James, it. chapter 2, verse 17. Even so, faith, if it have not works, it's dead, being alone. So you can't you can't say you're just an edge of light and don't walk, you know? You just can't, you just can't talk to talk. You gotta walk the walk, man. You know? Yea, a man may say, thou has faith and have works. Show me thy faith with thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So, so man, so you gotta show, you gotta show, man, you gotta show that you want this thing. You gotta show that you want salvation, you know? Hey, hey, you, hey you say that you love the Lord and you wanna follow the Lord. I'm gonna hey, show you how much you wanna do it, how you conduct yourself in your everyday life, man. And first John and talk about uh, if a man 
say that he is in the Lord, you, you ought to walk even as he did, man. You know, separating yourself from this world. Verse 18, or verse 19, thou believest that there is one power, thou doest well, the devils also believe and tremble. So man, you know, evil spirits tremble, and, and these other nations, man, they tremble. Esau tremble. <laughs> that's why he want to cut off your videos. That's, that's why he want to cut down your videos, cut, cut off your, your channels, man. You know, that's why he want a petition signed by politics to get the Bibles taken away from you people. What, what they're trying to ban the Bible out? Yep. I've been talking about for a minute, man. Verse 20, but wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? <laughs> faith without works is dead, man. It's plain. You can't just can't talk the talk and not walk the walk, man. You can't crawl, man. You can't walk, you can't talk without crawling, man. You can't talk without walking, man. Like, come on, you gotta move, man. Even in the world, we got that saying, don't talk about it. About it. Come. So if they got that saying in the world and they just want you to do that in the world in fashion, how much more in the spirit? That's right. Mm -hmm. I got a quick one. This first John 2 and verse uh, 4. It says, He that saith, if I know him and keep of not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Mm -hmm. yep. But whoso keep of his word and him verily is the love of the most high perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked, man. Mm. So, hey, if you love the Lord, you know, you claim that you want to follow the Lord, you're going to be acting a certain way. You know? Mm -hmm. The Lord ain't coming back to serve, uh, to, to save Kendrick Lamar. That nigga know he's Israelite, but that nigga, he's still of the world. You know? <laughs> There's a lot of people that know that they're Israelites, but they're not conducting themselves as Israelites. All the people say, I'm no longer an Israelite. Still an Israelite. Yeah. No matter what you think, no matter what you say, you still an Israelite. You can't denounce that uh, hey, it's by blood. You're an Israelite, man. It's your heritage. It's who you are. You, it's nothing you can do about it. Grasp it. Hold on to it. That's the only thing you got. And you saying you're no longer Israelite putting up the video. Somebody knows nothing about Israel. What's an Israelite? Oh, Israelite. Right. Uh, hey, it's nothing that you can do against, against the Lord, but for the Let's Lord. Let's find that verse. Nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Hey, the Lord, is, the Lord is not with this society, man. You can see the people. The Lord is not with these Dark. people. Oh, yeah. All these people want to do is bitches, beer, and television. A drink, television, and sleep. The Bible, that's for us. This is a spiritual thing. This is for us, brothers. That's why we, you notice at one time we were talking to this. Now you look at the brother's videos, man, it's more like man, we talk to each other, man. Fuck the world, bro. Yeah, man. Fuck the world, man. This is 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. But we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Hey, you can't just hey, you can't gain say the truth and think that people are gonna just go against it. Hey, that's putting the truth out, man. Hey, talking shit about the truth. Putting the truth out, man. Stupid. Whoever's gonna want to see it, yep. whoever's meant to be woken up, will be woken up. The Lord said his word is gonna prosper where to he sits. It's nothing you can do about it, man. And the Lord's word is it's unevitable. Charleston White, thank you, brother. You just got me four new subscribers off your page. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, man, come on, man. <laughs> they didn't know nothing about me, man. I cussed the nigga out. Oh, man, and he 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 all my shit. But I got four subscribers. <laughs> got him. <laughs> It's the book of Hosea. I hate the evil things. The Lord hates it. The Lord is using everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The Lord used everybody. It's cold the Lord is. He had to deceive our heads. And the Lord put the spirit on all flesh, you know, to prophesy, you know. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. But you notice, they don't reject, they don't reject Esau's knowledge. When do they interrupt the teacher at school? Yeah, 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 yeah. When have they ever oh, yeah, interrupted? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why you yeah. Raise your hand. When have they ever interrupt the preacher? The fucking pastor in church. Hey, brother, you got some professors in school that you, you can raise your hand. Yeah, I'll tell you, man, man. You got to wait till uh, I'm finished talking or class is over. Then you can come with your question. Yeah. Don't interrupt. But these, what, 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 what do these niggas do? Hawk horns, uh, call us different hands, man. You know, you know what we're doing is the Lord's work, man. 
that I thou may that thou shalt be no prince to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. How can you say you're Israelite? How can you say you're Israelite, but you no, know, then some other time pass on, you're not an Israelite all of a sudden. You dumb motherfucker. You an Israelite, man, by blood, and it's not no damn religion. Um, this is uh this is uh first Corinthians 4 and 10. We are fools for Mashiach. Say, we are what? We are fools for Mashiach's sake, but we are wise for Mashiach. We are, we are weak, but we are strong. We are honorable, but we are despised, man. Hey, we despise for pushing his word, man. The brother was talking about earlier, man. It, 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 it's, it's a cut to the soul of the wicked. It's a cut to Esau. It's a cut to the heathens. You know, they want to cut the videos off of YouTube. They want to censor the word. They want to get rid of the Bibles. This Hosea 4 and 4 says, Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priests. And that's what our people do, man. As the brothers are going into, they don't object when Esau is hey, spilling out his madness. You know, they don't go up and buck up against him. But let the man of the Lord tell your black ass that you're the children of Israel. Nah, nigga, nah, we Africans, man. We, right. we, we ham, bro. We, we this and that, man. We Kimmy. I can't right. see myself in that Bible, bro. Or I can't see How come you, don't, you didn't celebrate Easter this year, brother? Right, right, right. Hey, 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 back up what you just said. Yeah, real they talk. Had, uh, real talk. They had a goddamn uh, a concert, a, 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 a little concert. What's this, Stella Wars, the singing shit? Oh, yeah, the gospel. Okay, so, so so the dude who was announcing and hosting it, yeah, brother, I got to get back to that port. I mean, that ham is got the crib. <laughs> same I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, same thing. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. They said they're going to make money off the Bible. Yeah. They're going to make, uh, then they're going to go home and eat some bubble food. <laughs> And don't, don't forget the uh, all these goddamn jazz bells off in the audience singing oh, and dancing, yeah, shaking their mic. Man, yeah. the, and then twerk, the twerk offs and uh, they got her going on now. Oh, oh, come on, man. We. <laughs> this uh, John 14, 15 to 5. It says, I am the vine, ye are the branch. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same abideth for much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing, man. We need you, how about Shimei Abishai, man? Without the Lord, we ain't nothing. We can't do nothing. We can't move left, we can't move right. Nothing. We ain't shit. We need you, how about Shimei Abishai, man? Point blank, plain and simple, man. <laughs> All you gotta do is look at Michael Jordan's eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> and see you, man. It don't matter how much money you got, my nigga. Man, man, man. No matter how much riches you got, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, them eyes show that you suffer. Yeah, yeah. suffering. Boy, yeah. You in hell. Look at your boy Will Smith. Oh, yeah. This woman that he might be getting a divorce. Oh, no, I heard one thing. I heard she trying to get all too. This nigga, this nigga crying every other day. Like, 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 uh, Will Smith. Oh, oh. Getting fucking exposed mm -hmm. every other day. Hey, this nigga is pretty love and stock, man. Hey, he done had multi platinum albums, multi million, billion dollar movies. Albums. Come on. Movies. Clothes, clothing, television shows. Oh, but we made it, bro. We made it. We, made it. we what did you make? What the fuck did you make? It's your ass miserable. Miserable. Hey, look, the Most High is bringing all y'all stars down. All you so. Ooh. Hey, look, every last one of these so-called so-called black men that was on top music industry. Terry Crews, big oh, yeah. muscle ball nigga. Old white man grabs his ball. Old white man grabs his ball. He can do nothing about it. Music. Cuff the nigga R &B. So oh, yeah, and enjoyed every it. last one of your he said, Ooh. what did they do? They took them by the balls and took them all down. What did they demasculate? Right in front of your face. Demasculate. demasculate. Like, like they used to do back in the day. You used to take the, the butt strongest nigga and bus break them. What they doing right now? Butt they breaking. taking your most strongest uh, 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 athletes and, and stars and things and what they doing. They butt breaking them on TV right Man, in front of your ass. All you niggas, we got videos y'all with dresses on. Huh, huh. That's butt breaking. Here you are, swole as hell, football, NBA. But you got a dress on, man. Hey, you got another one. What about the music, dude? He was right next in a wedding dress, right next to the Edomite dude. And he in the suit. Let you know this is all a goddamn program for you niggas. And you know, and, and let you know that Esau can wear the suit. He can be the man in the relationship, but the, but the nigga got the oh, bra. Check the bitch. Yeah. It's the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 36. For what shall it profit a man oh, yeah, if he sure. should gain the whole world what and love his own soul? What the devil say? Say, uh, your homicide. And I got all these demons. Man, what the Lord said? Bitch, get behind, man. I'm about to inherit. This, this is already mine, bro. 
No, I hate this. First off, he, he trying to tip the wrong man to order. All these things I'll give to you. Right. How you gonna give me something? Oh man, thank you for bringing my wallet back to me. I appreciate it. Thank you for giving me back my ID. I get his ID back and you just worship me. Bow down to me. Yeah, Lord said, hey man, come on, bro. Come on. We ain't gotta set up the motherfucking thing. First off, we seen all the people that sold out. Where are they now? DMX is dead. Artists are dead. They're depressed. They're on drugs. Man, it didn't work out for you, bro. Hey, they say they pierced themselves through with many sorrows, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, chasing a bag, trying to make it in this society, man. Mm -hmm. Now you got what, Kanye West? This nigga, musical genius, he all this, but uh, but he, he got them witches the over him, man. Oh yeah, he's competing with musical genius is gone. Exactly, man. And now his ass weak, man. You know. Now he a, a demonic preacher. Look at uh, Dwayne Wade. <laughs> Dwayne Wade had to give up his son, mm -hmm. and now he talking about he was wearing a dress at one point. Hey, oh, no God, integrity. Yeah. No. Jacob have no integrity, no integrity man. Huh. And like the brother just, that verse you just said, man. Yep. He'll sell his soul, man. Yep, and, and he works. What did he gain? He, um, he, own, he got part ownership in the goddamn Utah. He also uh, he got a game TV. show. I'm talking about Dwayne Wade, he got like a game show or something. Yeah, too, yeah. So he, he, he even sold out, man. That verse was perfect. Put a Dwayne Wade and a lot of people doing that shit, man. Terry Crews letting him, uh, old ass decrepit man grab his balls, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, in front of your wife. But you get mad because the nigga talks about it, you ready to go smack him up? You want to smack the nigga, but you ain't mad at the white boy grab you up. In front of your wife, bro. In front of your wife, the nigga grab your ball. You ain't do nothing. You a big swole nigga. Come on, man. And you let this dude grab your nuts. Man, do you know how to do that? Man, they said he cuffed him. He ain't rapping. He cuffed him. He rapped the whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get the image of him. Oh, yeah, real good. You gotta get the image of him. You gotta get the image of him. He got sensual with him. He got intimate with him. Intimate with him, yeah. What this he took the nigga manhood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The man hey, hey, left him powerless, huh. man. And yeah. that's what you need for society, man. Mm -hmm. He's powerless. And he, uh -huh. knew, he already knew, man. That's the powers that beat, nigga. You better not been grab your ball. You you not get to this ain't the first time, man. man. He bit that nigga over the table, man. Like, what? <laughs> hey, what he said, man, you looking magically delicious. This is what Friday is. Man. Hey, a lot of you jakes, man, what he says, um, Man, your spirit up now. Um. Come on now, y'all. Yeah. Oh, Lord, y'all about to shoot outside. Shalak Rayom. Shalak Rayom. Oh, yeah. The continents beareth witness that you, man, these dudes are sodomites, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Their, their the dress code, right? Their sins, this out. The haircut, yeah. bring it up. It's the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 37. What shall a man get the. Oh no, man, the Lord got stuff for all that noise, man. The Lord got stuff for all that. It's the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 37. But what shall a man give in the church for his soul? You know, blood sacrifices, you know, all types of wicked, you know, rituals, you know, the alphabet lifestyle, living, you know, men grabbing other man's balls, men bending over men over tables and stuff like that. You giving all, you giving, you giving yo, your life over to that, man. You give, you giving up, man. You you gain the whole world for that. Right, right. Hey, what's one thing we could put in common with all, a lot of artists and the um, actors? They all lost the child. I was gonna say, the spirit. I was gonna say, the spirit. They they they, they sacrifice me. Look yeah. at um, John Legend with that uh, with that uh, Moabite bitch you deal with, man. All of a sudden, the, the baby was born. All of a sudden, it dies out of nowhere. I mean, it, it is still born. It's happening. But the way they did it, the way they talked about it, you know, we know what's going on. Y'all drink the blood. The kid and son. Oh, huh, huh. Yeah. That was what a few yeah. months ago. Yeah, man, huh. Ain't that about After that? After all that shit just happened, him getting his shows canceled and all that, then his son fucking died. Now he back on TV. What about Kanye West's dad? Mom, mom. Oh, mom. 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 Jennifer Hudson family. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jennifer Hudson family? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Week, bitch. Yeah, she done kicked uh, up. And the dude in jail, he didn't know I ain't jail. My man like, man, I'm innocent as fuck, man. You gotta he said I was not there that night. Come on, man. That nigga look dirty. People I woke family. up there that night. <laughs> that nigga look dirty. People in his family keep bad and people around him keep bad. Wow. And he owned that. He got a song with Drake. He, all his songs busting that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, in Ephesians, say it's a shame yeah, to speak of the things that are done in the dark, man. Hey, when we talk about these things, people may perceive that this ain't happening. This is real life what happened. Hey, in our law, the Lord tell us don't sacrifice our children. Because niggas back then was...
Sacrificing their children to devil, man. Their sons and daughters to a mole. It's the same thing they're doing now, man. You know, they're just trying to disguise it and, and, and make it seem like this. No, this is the same practices that was happening back then. And they doing it for what? Riches, man? To promote themselves here in this world? No. Oh, not weakness. No. This is Matthew 16 and 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for it, my sake. They sacrifice their kids so they can get more, more money in this more rich society. Bullshit. Just kill the whole gun line, bro. Right. Hey, fuck it, I'll make another. And some of them are going to save their own life. They got to sacrifice their child to put them in the game so they won't fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't worth shit no more, so what you gonna give them? Well, well, I, I'm giving you my, my daughter or my, my daughter son. My daughter or my son, my mother. Well, they, 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 they're just digging themselves into a deeper hole, man. Like they say Michael like, Jordan sacrificed his father. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, he did. Yeah. Just like Magic Johnson sacrificed Kobe so, Bryant and his daughter. Well, see, and his, and son. that son, that, yeah. that monkey gorilla son. daughter of his. Oh, yeah. and, and that was because these cats were throwing games back in the day, man. And they, you know. Everything they do for this devil is gonna come to the light, man. Just like us exposing the devil right now, man. Everything is gonna come to the light, man. And what is the light? It is truth, man. That's right. Now, I got something for you. Wisdom of Solomon 6, and I'm gonna start at 10. It says, For they that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy, and they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. Wherefore, set your affection upon my words, Desire them, and ye shall be instructed. That's why the scripture also says to set your uh, affection on things above. That's Colossians 3 and 2. Set your affection on things above, not on the things on this earth. All right? And why mind is on this truth? Because he said the kingdom starts within you. That's the truth. All right? And as we were saying, a lot of these celebrities. All right, their mind is not focused on this truth. As the brother said earlier, it's all about the bag. It's all about the bitches. Because see, at one point, they had to make a choice to say, well, should I struggle like the average joke and keep my integrity as the book is just read? Or do I start sacrificing myself, my family, and other things so I can be successful, so people can look up to me? They eventually had that choice. But the word, they wasn't pondering upon the Lord's word. So they was like, fuck it, I choose the world. <laughs> and now you got the reward of the world. Oh, yeah. And it's because this devil, he's slick, man. He go to the most fucked up, most poorest motherfucker on the planet. Yeah. Hey, look, all your superstars, what they... From I was poverty. Poor, I, was, poverty. Man, I was poverty. I ain't had shit. I came from the slum. Even your Every Edomite, last one even your Edomite superstars, Come on, man. man. A lot of them, I came from nothing. They all got the same story, man. Esau know who the thirsty nigga that, that is just, just gonna take what he gonna give him, man, and say, fuck the Lord. He know. Well, look at Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai came with nothing. He didn't have a place to rest his head. So Satan was like, hey, I, I got this nigga. Or, or, or listen, listen brother just said You can't go to a king and tell him, I'm gonna give you. I already got all this. What I need to tell him? What I need this shit for? I'm trying to tell him. How you gonna tell him? Right, Somebody already great. got it. Come on, already got it. Come on, that's the Lord. That's great. That's really bad. And that's why the Lord said, get behind me, Satan, because all this is already mine. <laughs> Satan didn't recognize who he was talking to. Uh, uh, okay, well, that was your Howard Shaw. I'm just trying to show you Howard Shaw. Like a crackhead, huh? Like oh, 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 shit. Crack oh, so shit, brother. Oh, I'm trying to show me. No, I'm going to tell you. You're a robber, nigga, trying to show me shit. That was Satan. And then he saw this. That was the Lord. Oh, oh, oh. And you know, bring out the scriptures and we shut it down, brother. This is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust do it corrupt. And where Federal Reserve notes, bitcoins, mm -hmm. um, crypto dollar, etc. Real estate, stocks, real estate stocks, gold, <laughs> silver. Uh -huh. It says, lay not up. No, brother, I got equity. I got equity Generational in the house. Generational will. Mm -hmm. my, my, my great <laughs> granddaddy had this, and he passed it to my son. Oh, oh, my oh, grandpa, oh, oh, and he passed it to me. 
That don't mean a motherfucking thing. Tradition of men, man. When all hell breaks loose, that don't mean nothing, nigga. Come on. Hey, who the fuck gonna trade your gold over the <laughs> to 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 fuck who? Nobody selling that shit. So you can survive. Come on. Hey, man, man. nigga, finna bust a slug in your ass and take your gold. Matter of fact, he don't want your gold. Where's the pussy and the food? Man, you become the food too. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're a meal now. Shit. Mr. Book of Luke, chapter six, verse twenty-one. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. So man, you know, you know that you know that you know that old saying goes. You know you laugh now, cry later. You know, but you that got you know the gold, that you that got all the money. Man, you gonna be crying, man. You gonna be mourning. Let's just say it again, brother. Bring it back again, bro. Mr. Book of Luke chapter 6, verse 21. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. You know the OC, you know how that old saying goes? Matter of fact, it's like it. Mr. Book of Luke chapter 6, verse 25. Mr. Book of Luke chapter 6, verse 25. Woe to you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe to you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Man, you know the old saying goes, you shall you, know, you, you laugh now and cry later. If you got money now, man, you're gonna be you gonna be mourning, man. You're gonna be poor. Hey man, that gold ain't gonna last long. All that money ain't gonna last long. All you gonna have is cryptocurrency, man. And that and that you know, that broken staff, that broken reed going inside your hand. Which going into the MOTB. <coughs> That's right. Hey, how was I say that hey, those that be uh, first shall be last, and those that are last are gonna be first, man. So hey, take the low route, wait on the Lord, and hey, the Lord is gonna exalt us in due time, man. Because you know? all these guys you just named, these entertainers, they stars, they lost their integrity. They lost their patience. Their patience. Mm -hmm. If they even had any, because like the brother was saying a second ago, they didn't know how to take that low route, man. A lot of us took that low route and just, we didn't go chase the bag. We went to work nine to five. So we would call uh, lanes and stuff. And that was a low route here in this wicked ass place. Because you get rewarded for doing fake news. I got something real quick. This uh, Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 1 For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred, man. Hey, 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 the knowledge that's in this book is beautiful, man. And hey, these people in the world, they're, and they're wearing themselves in wickedness. These rich motherfuckers is doing all type of uh, wicked sacrifices and all types of just just blunt wickedness, man. Hey, I'm glad we got this truth, man. The Lord keep us from a whole lot of just darkness, to say the least. Nope. Hey, that's pretty much the point of it, man. The Lord blessed us to understand this truth, brother. That's why he's, uh, what he told Peter, blessed our doubt, you know, for flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but the Son of Man. Yep. All right? And that's pretty much the point of this, man. The Lord gave us this truth to understand, to do the work, to potentially save ourselves and maybe a few people here and there who we love. And, and that's the end of it. Outside of that, He helps us walk in our integrity. We got our daily bread. And we like, hey, that's all we need until we get to the kingdom. Hey, this truth. The brotherhood and our daily bread is all we need. Anything outside of that is extra, but until then, hey man, we waiting for the kingdom. Yep. Any brother got anything left? Any last minute stuff? Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 3 verse 5. It says, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Woo. We ain't, we ain't out here boasting about how we feel, what we thinking, and all this other stuff. We got our chest poked out, man. This is of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Everything that you see, this is the Lord's doing, man. This is His will, man. Yeah, what what brother in this camp you know their name? <laughs> this is not like Bishop Nathaniel. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that dudes, they gotta make sure you know who they are. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, greatest man on earth. On earth, right, yeah. Right. Bishop. Oh, uh, this five deacon, um, general. Man, get that shit out. I here. bring the word. Oh, yeah. And when they talk, they get on that. Thus said the Lord. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Ain't no theatrics. Ain't no theatrics, bro. Two yeah. weeks. We're going to talk like niggas, man. Bitches selling pussy. Niggas is gay as fuck. This world is fucked up, man. We got to be right. wrong. Right. Uh, yeah, wrong. Man. And that's why y'all watch us, because y'all like that wrong. That wrong. That wrong, yeah. <laughs> and what we're going to say with all that, we're going to say, all praise the glory to you. Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. <laughs>
Hey, what? Above, 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 above